<laughs> Alright guys, here we go with the Battleborn review, gameplay, whatever this is. So, right now we're going to be going into Meltdown on Paradise. Uh, if you can figure that out, Meltdown is the game mode, Paradise is the map. Uh, in the open beta that I was playing, we could only do two different things, and that was either Meltdown on Paradise or Incursion on Overgrowth. So as you see right here, I try to pick Wrath, but this dumb prick over here, what's this dumb heavy psycho Tim? Yeah, you probably are a little heavy bitch in your basement, aren't you? But you took the character I was going to play as. The reason I was going to play as him is because one of my gripes with this game is it's unbalanced, and he is a pretty good demonstration for that. To just get a little bit into that, it's it's his lifesteal. That's what it is. And the reason I say this is because I can't really show you, but the reason is because he can literally go into a fight and leave with more health than he had before he went in. And I think that makes no sense. I mean, maybe sometimes if you're going to just destroy somebody, they don't hit you, you're just the best. But I don't think... That, that should happen often, and when I played as him for about two, three games, it just kept happening. It was ridiculous. I only played with him for two, three games because I was trying to experiment with all the characters, see the differences, try to get a feel for it. And the reason I was doing that was because the game at first felt pretty clunky to me. And I, was, I didn't know if it was just because I was using like a melee-only character, so I experimented with Thorn and Marquise who are more marksman type people, as well as Oscar Mike, who is a assault player. So I, I kind of messed around with every range, almost every type of player that I would imagine you would see in the game. And it just still feels kind of clunky to me. It just doesn't feel right, you know? And for someone that plays a lot of games as I do, pretty much whenever I have free time, like, I, I need that kind of good feeling. I can't just play a game and have it feel uncomfortable. And it's kind of weird, if you think about it, but still, it's just how it felt like it didn't feel like good, it didn't feel fluent, it just felt like everything was a task. And speaking of tasks, it also feels pretty overwhelming. Like, uh, when you play Incursion, which, when you go into Incursion... Well, I'll explain this game mode before I go into the one that I'm not playing. So, this one here is going to be... It's just all we're doing is pushing up minions, building things to push them along to get into the grinders. And once they get into the grinders, we get points for them based on what kind of robot they are. Hold on, hit them with the jazz hands. Nailed it. Alright, gotta hit them with the jazz hands. But yeah, so... We're just... That's all you're doing. Just pushing robots into the grinders. That's it. And you're fighting other people and that's there's no other really thing real thing to do. Uh, right here what you're seeing actually is me up uploading upgrading my gear. So you can make a loadout with gear which you would get in supply drops. Uh, and when you get in supply drops you get those and you can upgrade them in game with your shard currency. So your shard currency is what's in the bottom left but the yellow with the 178 next to it. And you can use that to like buy thing buy your gear. You can use that to build turrets and stuff on the map. Uh, and that's and you can use it to build like accelerators, which is what you see right there, shocking me. That's their accelerator. But other than that, shards are literally worthless. So there's another KO. Hit him with the business. Hit him with the Texas two step real quick, but Either way, alright, so other game mode is going to be Incursion. The reason I say it's overwhelming is because not only are you building all the turrets, not only are you pushing out minions, not only are you trying to fight people, you're also going at thrall mercenary camps, and you have to do different upgrades, and this and that, and I feel like for one game mode, and like the size of the map, and the different areas of the map, I feel like it just gets a bit overwhelming at times. Even after playing quite a few games, spending a few hours playing, figuring stuff out, I just think it's a little, I think they try to put too much into one mode to the point where sometimes I'll start losing and I'll be like, what happened? I don't understand. And then sometimes I'm winning and I'm like, I haven't even been in their base. How am I winning? I don't get it. 
It's like I can kill people. Like I had a game, I think it was with Thorn, where I went 17 and 4. And everyone on my team had was at least double positive. We were killing them all the time. We were pushing up minions and we lost. So I was like, what did we miss here? I don't really understand. Doesn't make much sense to me that we all were double positive. We were trying to push the minions. We were building our turrets. We grabbed Thrall Mercenary Camps. And we were still losing. So I think that classifies a little bit as overwhelming if we think we're doing everything right and we're still missing something even after hours of playing. So overall, so far, I don't really care for the game. I have friends that are playing it. They like it. Me personally, I don't. And, like I said, main reasons being overwhelming, clunky, and a little bit unbalanced. So, also, besides Wrath, um, just, uh, just, actually, let's go into him a little bit. So, Wrath, he has, everyone has three abilities, as you can see on the bottom. The far right one is the passive, but the, you get the two from the start, and then you can eventually upgrade your, your middle one there. And what Wrath's middle one is, is Whirlwind. Always hit him with jazz hands. The middle one for him, Wrath, is Whirlwind. And basically what it does is he just spins around his swords. And the thing is, it just tears people to shreds. And it, and by that, I only mean to shreds. It's ridiculous. is how fast you kill people with it. And the even more broken part is eventually there's an upgrade for it to where you get movement speed so they can't get away. And then even after that... There's another upgrade to where if your shield breaks, you get 45% more damage on it. So I was going up to tanks and absolutely obliterating them without even trying. I even had a fight with three people one time to where I went in with about half health. Most of them above half health. One of them was low. One of them was full health. I killed two of them, no problem. And I had more health than I had originally started with. And then I popped my Whirlwind, and I absolutely obliterated the third guy. The reason I'm saying this is not to brag. The reason I'm saying this is because I think that is bullshit. If all three people are trying to kill me, I should not stand a chance. I think that's kind of ridiculous. I think it's a little bit too much. And I think the fact that Wrath has that much lifesteal is just absurd. I think it's absurd. And I don't really understand how that could be considered fair that he can do that. Um, I just don't like it. I think that we should definitely, definitely get a nerf on that before full game comes out. And when, I mean, I might try this game again when f the full game comes out. I doubt it. Uh, but I do like to give things a second chance. So right here, while it, since you just saw it basically. I would like to go into the other character that gave me an unbalanced feeling in here. That being the kill. Her name's Killer. And basically the reason I think she's unbalanced is because I think some point in here you see it where we're all trying to kill her. All of us are trying to kill her. I think I just bumped my mic. So my bad if that happened. But, um, yeah, all three of us were trying to kill her. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second there. And we couldn't do it. And there's a time where I, I'm not a tank, per se, but I do have a little bit more health than most. Um, and basically, right there, I actually saw I think you just saw it. I wasn't thinking about it. Basically, I think that was all three of us trying to kill her right there. The reason I cut it out is because it's just three minutes of us trying to kill her and failing. And she gets away. And then she kills us. And I think that's bull. And you can argue all, all you want that, oh, maybe we were messing up, maybe we're bad. But the thing is, I'm a melee character. And, I'm, I mean, right here you're seeing me miss a little bit, but it's not going to happen that often. And we also had a ranged character and stuff like that. So we were, we were hitting her. It's just we couldn't kill her. And then when she was hitting us, she was just absolutely imploding us. And it was ridiculous and unfair and it was blowing our minds we even like exchanged messages after the game which if i did i would have proof of if i thought about it but 
we were going and talking about, oh, well, that wasn't fair. What do you think about this? Because I like to get other people's opinions a little bit, and they thought it was bullshit. But to be fair, though, they do overall, overall like the game. It's just they thought what she was doing was kind of crazy. Um, but like I said, if I actually had to rate this game, I don't really want to do reviews. I just want to say a little about it. But if I had to do reviews and I was giving this game a rating, I would still give it like a 5 or a 6. Because it does have some fun aspects. The dialogue in it's really funny. I think they make good comments, and they just make me laugh. Like, one of the, my favorites is when you start the game, the lady goes, let's kick all the asses in 3, 2, 1. And I, th I thought that was pretty funny. So they have good, like, comments in the game, good dialogue. It's There's humor in it, which I appreciate. Look at this bitch, she won't leave me alone. But actual gameplay which is probably something you would really like to step up when you're playing I don't care for it too much I think it's this game modes too simple the other game modes too much and either way just basic gameplay doesn't feel that great and as you can see here we win the game so I hope you took a little bit out of what I said to heart I hope you appreciate it, but I would try it for yourself it is an open beta if you did like it, please leave a like, subscribe, check out my stream, twitch.tv slash Cosmic Otter, and thanks for watching. Alright, so I had to think of some sort of outro for this thing, and couldn't think of anything. Yes, I'm wearing two headsets, and no, you can't do a damn thing about it. And no, I did not shower today, so yes, my armpits stink. And I'm going to leave you with that.